Welcome back everyone. We are doing the Magic Gift Templar today. Probably my favorite class. Okay. To start with, we'll do jewelry since I'm already here. We get three pieces of willpower with the spell damage enchant. If you run into some magic recovery problem, you could put the recovery enchant on it if you wanted to. For our gear, we go with Kagernax because the five piece here is just amazing. Decreasing your time to resurrect an ally by 25%. Matched with the Templar's resurrection speed on top of that. You're picking somebody up really fast. Plus you're getting magic back. And that 214 extra spell damage. I believe it's 226 if you have it gold. I'm not quite sure. For our monster set, two piece monster set, I use Vulcan Scoria because the, you're doing a lot of damage over time with your Templar here and it procs a lot. On our back bar we use swords for more spell power. I use the defending trait for a little extra. If you wanted to you could go with uh, Powered, which increases your healing done by 6% but honestly I think the defending over powered because 6% isn't really a nut much compared to your survivability as far as enchanting you would want to go with spell damage enchants I just got poison on here I haven't got around to making them yet same thing with our front bar which is our restoration bar our main healing bar I got the Willpower Staff, ideally I'd want the Maelstrom Restoration Staff, I haven't gotten it yet. Seems like every time I do that dang Maelstrom, I always end up with something, some armor piece, I never get a dang weapon. For our, this is our basic stats here, unbuffed. I go 64 into Magicka, nothing into health because my health is around 21 right now with food. For our food we just go with max health and magicka. For the boon we use the apprentice, increase spell power. Again if you run into magicka problems you might go with the astronaut for extra recovery. For my particular race I chose Argonian. Of course you get this small increasing your restoration staff skill line by 15% but we go down here now this says healing on you by 9% but in the next update which is tomorrow it's gonna be healing done which includes you and your allies by 9% you could go with Breton for reduced magic costs or high elf if you wanted to for extra recovery but as far as healing goes we're gonna stick with Argonian that extra 9% is going to be great. Now we'll go to our skills. For our restoration bar we have Blazing Spear, Breath of Life for an emergency heal if you need it, Repentance because each time you kill an enemy and you use this you're giving health stamina back to your allies plus yourself and that even counts if somebody is wearing the engine guardian mask if that goes down you can use it as a repentance seal. If somebody has the Daedric Mask, that's a repentance seal. Pets from sorcerers, and so on. Even your own allies. We go with Mutagen for a heal over time. And this skill is a must have for Templars. You put this down, not only are you cleansing effects from you, if your allies have activate purify their cleansing negative effects on yourself and getting that big 1200 heal but also you're burning enemies for 1300 magic damage every two seconds for 12 seconds now that's not a big damage number but it does help add and add up a lot as long as you keep this down and on top of that while you have that down go into our templar abilities down here 
and granting you major mending, even if you leave the area for 4 seconds, increasing your healing done by 25%, and reducing the enemy's movement speed by 30%, which is really helpful in PvP. Bar we have Puncturing Sweep, Breath of Life, Entropy for more spell damage, Inner Light for extra crit and more magic, and our Execute. For our ultimates on both bars, I keep Remembrance here. Now, most of the time you won't need to use Remembrance, but this is great in a really tight spot where basically you're granting yourself and your allies 4 seconds of invincibility. Damn near. I choose Solar Prison over Shooting Star. Because there's that 30% damage mitigation. Reducing enemies damage by 30% as long as they're standing in that Nova. Plus they can act activate the gravity crush and deal 14,000 damage. That's a pretty hefty number. If you're in the middle of a execute and one of your allies is about to die. You just block and that will stop your Jesus beam. Okay, so let's get into champion points. Start the green tower. I go 92 and to reduce the magic cost of spells. I go over here 75 into magic of recovery. And our blue tree will get a little bit weird here. We go 70 into elemental expert, 40 into elf born, 10 into blessed. We don't need to go crazy here. Because, once again, if you're in that extended ritual, you get an extra 25% healing. So, this really isn't needed because at this, with this setup right here, we're already hitting 20 to 30,000 Breath of Life heals on a crit. And who has that much health unless you're a tank? We go 47 into Thermoturg because, once again, we're doing a lot of damage over time. We do a split between Hardy, Elemental Defender, and we go 21 into Thick Skin. I go 30 into Quick Recovery. You don't have to, but it's nice to have that little extra survivability. Plus, you'll get these extra little bonuses when you're resing people. What we want to do, we just want to keep the Ritual down. Keep the Spear down. Between your ritual and your mutagen, and the heal over, if they're above 50 60 percent health, they're gonna heal back up to full. And it's just rinse and repeat. I guess that's pretty much it. I thank you so much for watching. Uh, tomorrow, I will hopefully be doing a video on the new dungeons if PS4 doesn't get the latest they usually do. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like comment, subscribe. Thank you so much, and we'll see you later. Peace.